What's up, guys? Good morning. I guess it's morning for us. Whenever you're watching this, I guess whatever time that is. The moral of the story is we just woke up. <laughs> Not really. Uh, we're at it again. It's Labor Day weekend. Which that means, means we labor. <laughs> we labor hard for yeah. four days. Four days of bus build coming at you. And that is the plan. Other than that, we don't have a plan. No, but you might notice we have a mattress. We're sitting on top of our mattress. This just came in earlier this week. Um, it's a bed in a box. If you're part of our road trip squad, you get inside stuff to things like this and we actually unveiled our bed. Opened it. Unveiled our water tank underneath and kind of how things work. So if you want more of the insider stuff. And the behind the scenes. Check out our road trip squad. Um, we do do live videos in there. We do some really cool things. So. If it's something you're interested in, check it out. For with, sure. with that, um, we're coming at you this weekend from the bus pretty much all weekend. Yeah. Uh, the plans are to sand and wash and sand and wash and sand some and wash some. Wash some and <laughs> I think that's it. Um, we did get this new little kick ass little eraser wheel because Tanya spent like two weekends peeling school bus emergency exit yeah. off the back. And I have spent 10 minutes on the front. So it turns out if you do some research, check some things out, watch our vlogs, because we're going to try to help you guys as much as possible. Get yourself a rubber eraser wheel mm -hmm. and it rips the stickers right off. So we'll show you what not to do. So you know what to do better next time. Sure. So I guess, um, I guess what our plans are, what we're maybe hoping to accomplish is maybe start painting on the bus. Yeah. I, I really think that, you know, in four days, I think we can get quite a bit of stuff done. Sure. Um, so yeah, I mean, hopefully. Not, yeah, we're not promising the whole bus is painted, no. but we're definitely gonna try to shoot for some, some good, good prep, mm -hmm. some good clean, some good painting happening this weekend. Yeah. Because next weekend, we got a huge trip planned. Yeah, we're gonna hit the road. Hit the road, Jack. So we're gonna be sleeping on this bed. We're gonna be adventuring, eat, adventuring and, and road tripping. Roughing and it. Roughing it. Because we don't have a fully built bus. So it's gonna be fun and we're gonna take you along the right on the trip with us. So you'll get to see how it all goes down. A life in the disastrous road trip adventure at the moment. <laughs> so with that, let's get to work. It's labor day. Let's labor. <laughs> let's labor. fun it's about 11 30 so we're gonna take a break we're gonna go get some lunch and then get right back to it ten hours later so as you can see we are still at it hands are yellow a lot of sanding taking a while, but I think we're going to be done today with sanding. <laughs> it's Dustin's favorite job. Okay guys, so after about 12 hours of sanding on the bus and such, um, we actually got cleaned up, which does happen. I mean, we're not always bus build bums, let me tell you. Uh, but anyway, so we were going to have a dinner date with another couple, things came, uh, came up, so now we're still going to go on date night, just the two of us, and he's been hungry for nachos. <laughs> you know what kind of cheese ain't your cheese? Nacho cheese.
right guys, so we are finished with our dinner. It was so good, well worth it. Um, it's been a while since we've gone out to eat, so it was really nice to get out and just kind of enjoy each other's company, get kind of dressed up a little bit. So anyway, we are at the car wash now. And so Dustin is washing off all of the stuff that we had sanded. So that way we can see exactly how well we did and if there's any other areas that we need to touch up. Um, basically, we were just looking to take the shine off and, you know, kind of rough everything up a little bit so that way the fresh new paint will hold a lot better. Good morning, everybody. What are we doing today, love? Wiping everything down with mineral spirits. Getting ready to paint. That's the plan today is to get everything wiped down. The mineral spirits just kind of takes away all of the leftover stuff to make sure it's really clean and ready to go. And then we're going to start taping off all of the, oh, I guess you know, here. That's what's left. Yep. So then we're gonna start taping off all of the black stuff and hopefully, just hopefully, we get to start painting today. So we just got done finishing the front end with the paint and we let it sit for about an hour while we went and had lunch. So now we're taking off all of the tape and going to reveal the wonderful color, how it pops with the black. I am so excited. Are you excited? Hell yeah. Okay, everyone. So after about 12, 13, what are you doing? 12, 13 hours, would you say 13 hours? Of working on the bus, it's been a long day. We've only got half of the bus painted. I haven't even got to really see what it looks like because we worked till it was dark. So we'll show you that tomorrow, but we don't typically eat out a lot, but on days like today, we get our favorite Chipotle and college football. So, and, <laughs> and tap the Rockies. Woo! So that's how we're gonna finish off the rest of our evening, and we're gonna hit the bet, hit the hay. And no alarm clock tomorrow. We're gonna sleep in a little bit and we'll get right back to it. So, see you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. We are back up and at it again. Um, I am exhausted today, but anyway, uh, we got up early, we had some breakfast. It's probably about 6.30 in the morning. And Dustin had to go get some more paint. So we kind of ran into a problem yesterday where we ran out of paint and it seems like we ran at Denver almost dry. So we found, we called a few places, we found some um, stores that have some in stock, so he's going to go pick that up right now. Um, while he does that, I'm going to start taping and getting the back side and the other side ready so that way we can get it done, hopefully today. Fingers crossed. All right guys, so we are just finishing up the back side. Dustin's doing one more coat on it. And I think it's about done. Um, and then we have over here, this whole side is taped off and ready to go, except for I ran out of tape. So, we're like 97% painted. My finger hurts. I woke up sticky and confused. I did my nails real nice. <laughs> Tip to the ladies, if you paint your bus, you also get your nails done for free. Uh, 
Yeah. I think we spent our Labor Day obviously working, but it's working towards our goals, working towards the life we want to live. And that's the part that I'm trying to remember. Last year we were in the Badlands and Wind Cave National Park in South Dakota. And this year we're in a parking lot in Denver painting our bus. So it's amazing what one year can change, but we have huge goals and huge plans. And in order to reach them, you gotta sacrifice. So there it is. Also, let's talk about we are doing this in a parking lot. <laughs> so, for one, we've been spending the day chasing the shade because obviously we don't want to paint when it's super hot, but we're doing this in a parking lot. And so we have to adapt to the conditions and- Oh yeah, the wind's blowing. The wind's blowing. The cops be driving by. Don't really know the rules. I mean, we haven't been told anything, like we couldn't do it, but I mean, at the same sense. Probably not <laughs> legit, the same. But the key is, I mean, obviously picking up after ourselves, yeah. not leaving a mess. When we leave tonight, you won't even know that we were here. Sure. Be smart about it. Take care of your business. So. Tell us your stories of where you painted your house. Oh, yeah. Or your house. Tell us what you did, how you did this. How was it did. was it in a parking lot? Yeah, literally in a parking lot. <laughs> Burnt, tired, or sticky. But at least it's not late like it was last night. Yeah, yeah. We are done. We finished. Finito. Check it out, guys. Oh. All before 8 a.m. in the morning. We are some busy bees. We are exhausted, but it was well worth every second because this baby is beautiful. I'm so in love with this color. Bum, bum, bum. Isn't she beautiful, guys? So funny little story actually. So this color is mint green, right? And uh, when Dustin and I got married, 10 years, ago. 10 years ago, we had little mints all over our reception table that said mint to be. So it just kind of falls right in line. It was mint to be, mint to be the color. We're loving this mint. And who doesn't like chocolate chip? <laughs> Good job too. Uh, anyway, yeah. So we're excited to be done. We got a few more things in store today to get um, to get ready because uh, we leave in a couple days. So I think next yeah, stop is let's go. Let's go. All right, guys. So we drilled a bunch of holes in our bed frame base. And you're probably wondering, why the heck did we do that? So with the different changes and climates that we'll be experiencing, we really want to do any preventative measure that we can to prevent any type of mold from forming underneath our mattress. So we are actually going to use the kills that we used on our floor. It's a mold resistant. Um, so I'm going to, now that we've placed all the holes into the bed frame, base I'm going to coat it with some of the kills and then we have yet to order there is a, uh, a mattress pad that you can put underneath your mattress and it's supposed to help just bring in a lot of extra airflow to prevent any type of mold from from forming so that's what we're going to do now that way it's done and over with and it's something we don't have to worry about again so let's get to it
right guys, I just wanted to take a minute to fill you in on what we've been up to since we last showed you finishing the paint on the bus. So since then, we have cleaned the bus, we have started to kind of organize the bus, and we have now started moving all of our belongings back into the bus. So our room is getting a little less crowded, which is nice. But the reason we're doing this is because we have an upcoming trip in which we leave tomorrow morning. And I'm super excited about it. I cannot wait to go on this adventure and we cannot wait to take you with us. But I'm not gonna spill the beans just yet. I wanna keep it a surprise for you. Although, if you would like to get insight onto where we're going or any upcoming trips that we have, sign up to be a part of our road trip squad. We would love to have you as part of our family. In that group, we share some behind the scenes things, upcoming trips that we have, as well as some tips and tricks that we don't generally give out to to just everybody. So feel free to sign up. We would love to have you. If you have any questions, feel free to send us a message. We would love to help you out. Um, with that, we also, for this trip, we got ourselves a new bedspread, which I'm super excited to sleep on this bed. It is very comfortable. And as you can tell, we started to go with some of the grays, the like dark grays, light grays, and the mint green for a color scheme. We have some of our appliances in the bus, which we cannot, which we cannot quite use just at this moment because we don't have any solar, but that is perfectly fine because we have everything that we need to sleep in the bus, to cook in the bus, and to road trip adventure in the bus. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Dustin and I wanted to show you guys kind of what it all entails to paint a school bus. It's a lot of hard work, it's very time consuming, but if you're patient and you take your time, it turns out to be a beautiful result. Um, we did use, however, spray paint, um, which we used the Rust-Oleum Paint Plus Primer Modern Mint, and I believe it took about 29 cans of spray paint, which is just because it's such a light color, it took a lot of extra coats just to cover that dark yellow. But again, it turned out wonderful. Um, we could not be more happy with, with the way that it turned out. So with that, I hope that you guys gained some insight from this video. If you liked it, please hit that like button. Share some love, spread some love into the comments below. Um, we would love to hear your feedback as to what it is that you wanna see or areas that we can improve. You know, we make these videos for you guys and the only way that we can get better is if we get some feedback and know the areas that we need to improve in. So share some love and let us know how we're doing, what we can do better, what we can improve on. And we cannot wait to take you on this adventure with us. So with that, I'm gonna end this video Thank you guys so much from the bottom of our hearts. We appreciate each and every one of you. We'll see you on the next one.